Welcome friends, uh, in this video tutorial I am going to talk about uh, the experiment which was uh, done uh, pretty earlier to show uh, that the transformation or the exchange of gene, gene genetic material is existed uh, between uh, bacterial cells. Now that this, this is a very clever experiment which was performed by Frederick Griffith and uh, he was the father of uh, this modern bacterial genetics. As you can see in this case, he he's, uh, is set up a very clever experiment with the help of the experiment we can uh, show that uh, there is a way of transferring the genetic element between bacterial cells now what he did uh, we presented here with the help of this uh, table now let me uh, talk about all this uh, let begin with let me take a color okay now fine now in this case he chooses four different set of experiments or the four different uh, not this is single experiment but four different setup of uh, the single experiment four test tubes for example uh, test tube A is having the live uh, type of R R means the rough type of bacterial colony here uh, he has used uh, the bacteria uh, and in this case the bacteria colony looks uh, rough uh, that means uh, very rough it's not smooth at its surface so it's rough so it is lacking the slimy layer wh which uh, normally bacterial cell produces to make their uh, appearance smooth but in this case they lack this uh, mu mucilage uh, or, or this uh, mucilage type of uh, coding so they are rough in nature now he, he took this and he inject this uh, into a mouse and wh what what was the result the result is that the bacteria is not recovered and the mouse live healthy right so the mouse lived healthy everything is okay so this live art type of bacteria is not uh, creating any disease uh, for your sake uh, I must tell you the type of organism he, he had taken the type of organism he was uh, pneumonia I think uh, so pneumonia is uh, the organism he had took and this pneumonia uh, the art type of uh, pneumonia or the pneumonia bacteria which is giving the art type of colony or the rough colony uh, is not able to create any disease or symptom into the bacteria into uh, the mouse cell right then uh, he took another type of uh, the same uh, bacteria uh, which is pneumonia another type uh, this type or this strain is uh, having the smooth colony instead of the rough colonies now why they are producing the smooth colonies because in this kind of bacteria uh, they are actually producing those mucilage or slime layers uh, outside the outside of their body that's why they appear smooth uh, r rather than rough okay because they produce this slimy layers and uh, later we know that sli these slimy layers are called the capsules and these capsules are made up with all this glycocalyx layer which are the extra uh, cell membrane layers and uh, where the proteoglycans are there okay so uh, for that purpose this uh, bacteria appears smooth and he took this bacteria injected into the mouse at the same way like he did before and the result in this case was that the mouse died that means in this case the live S type of bacteria or the smooth type of bacteria can kill a mouse so it is a very pathogenic R type was non pathogenic but S type was pathogenic now what he did in this case he tried uh, to see that whether this S type of bac uh, bacteria if, if he killed this S type of bacteria whether it is able to produce any disease so uh, in the third set of experiment he killed uh, this S type of bacteria with heat shock and right after that he injected onto the mouse uh, body and the, ex and the result is uh, totally positive or tally with, with his hypothesis that and this time uh, the killed uh, is uh, killed uh, smooth type of bacteria was unable to kill the mouse so it is unpatho non pathogenic in this case uh, right after the heat shock uh, event okay now in the fourth step he wanted to see whether there is any interaction between this R type of bacteria and the S type of bacteria if we put them together and he did this exactly now what he did he took uh, the live R type of bacteria which is non pathogenic which uh, is uh, which generally cannot produce any disease and he took also the heat killed uh, S type of bacteria which is also non pathogenic because right after the heat shock uh, this slime layer is getting disrupted so uh, this can this is not unable to 
produce any diseases under mouse uh, body, right? So it took both the non-pathogenic form of bacteria in this case. So both non-pathogenic one in all these cases. So it took the heat killed one as well as the liver and the heat killed S. So the hypothesis suggested that the as they are both non-pathogenic, so there will be no disease development and the mouse will be healthy and fine. But the but the result was quite surprising. And what he found that this combination uh, results pathogenic and the mouse died. And not only the mouse died, but when he tried to recover the type of bacteria from the mouse's body, he found live type S bacteria. So this is a question, right? Because uh, he never gave the live S type bacteria in in this uh, fourth set of experiment. What he gave is uh, one uh, live R type bacteria, another heat killed S type bacteria. So in this case, at the end, he found the live S type. So it's a nature's rule that nobody can uh, retrieve back from its death. So there must be uh, the transformation from this R-type bacteria to this, sorry, to this S-type bacteria, right? So the live R-type bacteria is transformed into the S-type bacteria by uptaking the DNA segment of the S-type bacteria, which was heat killed. Though the bacteria was heat killed, but the elements of the bacterial DNA remains as it is, and this R-type bacteria will uh, uh, take those uh, elements onto it, and it will uh, combine those DNA elements with itself, uh, and as a result, it, it will transform from live R-type to the pathogenic S-type bacteria. So it's a conversion from a non-pathogenic form to pathogenic form. It's a conversion from a live R to the live S. That suggested us for the first time that this DNA or genetic material exchange between bacterial cell is possible. Okay, so that's it. And I hope it will help you. Thank you.